Arizona Burn Center has been in existence for over 50 years. And our job is to serve as the regional burn center for not just Phoenix or Maricopa County or the state of Arizona, but the entire southwestern United States. Our catchment area stretches all the way from Los Angeles to Lubbock, Texas, and as far north as, uh, as Denver, Colorado, and Salt Lake City, Utah. Our catchment population is somewhere in the neighborhood of 8 million people. We typically take care of around 900 to 1,000 inpatients each year, and we take care of around 5,000 outpatients each year. About 35 to 40 percent of our admissions and a little bit higher percentage than that uh, of our outpatients are pediatric patients. So as far as we can tell, we're the second largest burn center in the United States, definitely the largest burn center in the West, and probably the largest academic burn center in the entire United States. So we're very proud of that. Our survival rate for all comers at the Arizona Burn Center is about 97 percent. However, um, some of the people that come here have actual lethal injuries and are not expected to survive. Once we decide that we are, we are going to work hard to save someone's life, it's distinctly unusual for us not to be able to do that. So our survival rate for patients in whom we aggressively resuscitate and treat is about 99%. And as far as we can tell, that's one of the best in the country and probably one of the best in the world. The Arizona Burn Center is actually uh, three uh, separate geographic areas in, in the hospital. The main part of the burn center, the intensive care unit, is 19 beds on the first floor. And this is the, the place where our sickest adult and pediatric patients are, are cared for. Uh, within that ICU, we can do um, every possible imaginable care for patients. And we do so on a, on a daily basis. Within the main burn center also is our own emergency department. Burn patients that uh, come directly to the Arizona Burn Center or who are referred to us do not go to a regular emergency department. They come directly to an emergency department within the burn center and that emergency department only sees burn patients. This allows us to see patients very quickly, very effectively. If they need to be admitted to the hospital, they are admitted very efficiently. If they don't require admission to the hospital, we're able to get them taken care of and on their way back home to their lives very quickly and very efficiently. The second area of, of the burn center in the hospital is our seventh floor, which is our med surge peds unit. And this is an area for patients who either do not have as serious of burns as the ICU patients or patients who have gotten quite a bit better and now, long, and now no longer require ICU care. Uh, we have 26 beds here and about a third of those beds are reserved for pediatric patients. This is where patients really start to learn to be people again. Uh, we really focus on occupational therapy and physical therapy and psychological therapy and um, how to get back home again, how to take care of yourself uh, on a daily basis, how to drive, how to eat, how to drink, how to do all, how to walk, how to do all of those things that make us, make us human beings. The third component of the Arizona Burn Center in the hospital is our burn clinic. Our burn clinic is open every day and uh, we see patients who have been discharged from the hospital or patients who have been referred to us and who don't require inpatient care. It's a very busy place, usually staffed by uh, a dozen uh, providers, and we typically see 30 or 40 patients a day in clinic. There is no other disease or injury that is like a burn injury. It is truly multidisciplinary. It requires professionals from a multitude of areas uh, to effectively care for a burn patient. And this doesn't just include the doctors and the nurses, but also therapists and psychologists and psychiatrists, a variety of other doctors and nutritionists and pharmacists and, and technicians, and not only for uh, their acute hospitalization, but also for their rehabilitation period and for reconstruction and rehabilitation for years to come. We have a team of nursing staff, therapy staff, burn techs that go through a rigorous training process to be able to take care of burn patients. And we believe that we do it better than anyone in the country. We have a talented group of educators. We have a rigorous program that therapy and nursing and our burn techs go through before we allow them to become a part of this team. So as a burn 
system or as our burn services, we all work together, we all communicate, we're very close. We have the team, we have the vision, we have the mission, and we have the innovative treatment plan that is needed to bring people from a severe traumatic injury where it involves their entire family back to a baseline that they can go home with and still be productive. We want to make sure that every need that they have is taken care of while they're here and we have the team to do it. One of the great things about working at the Arizona Burn Center at Maricopa Integrated Health Systems is that we are open uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And we take all patients, all burn patients. The answer has never been no, we have never closed. And I work for a wonderful organization and uh, the ability to pay is not a consideration for care here. It doesn't matter if you are a wealthy executive from Paradise Valley or uh, living under a bridge in downtown Phoenix, you're going to get the exact same care at the Arizona Burn Center. We take great pride in, in taking great care of the patients in our community who need our services. We take great pride in teaching young doctors and nurses and military people and therapists and a variety of different learners at a variety of different levels. And finally, we also do cutting edge research. We participate in almost every major research project involving uh, innovative and revolutionary burn products. And we think we've been on the cutting edge for well over a decade and look forward to being on that cutting edge for, uh, for years to come. And it's very nice to be in the center of something that is, that is important and meaningful and that affects people's lives. It is truly an honor to be able to take care of people when they're at their worst and have them survive and go on with their lives. And I think uh, that is what we do best here and it's one of the things I am most proud of. And our team is the finest team that I've ever been a part of. I thank God every day when I come to work because of the people with whom I work.